Terry Beavers, better known as Missy, was born on August 9, 1970, in Graham, Texas. Terry and her husband Brandon Beavers had three children together. After their first daughter was born, Missy decided to be a stay-at-home mother and abandon her job working with special needs children. As their kids got older, Brandon and Missy decided to get involved in their local church. Brandon became a deacon while Missy taught Sunday school and organized women's Bible studies. Missy Beavers proved that anyone can do it by quitting her job, devoting herself to her family and home for years, and then making a successful career change. Missy was a kind and hard-working woman who was born Terry Leanne Strickland on August 9, 1970, but was known to everyone as Missy. She married Brandon Beavers in 1980 and taught students with special needs. Once their first child arrived, Missy decided to stay at home full-time so she could focus on parenting. She was more than a trainer to most of her fitness clients and students. She was a leader, an encourager, and the person who helped them believe in their capacity to transform their life for the better. When her girls grew older and she had more time for exercise, she developed a passion for fitness. She trained hard and studied extensively, notching up excellent results by any measure. By any reasonable standard, she was arguably in peak condition. However, when people think back on Missy, her appearance isn't what comes to mind. Instead, they point to her heart, empathy, and capacity to inspire and see the best in others. It's those characteristics that helped her throughout her years as a teacher when she was a single parent raising three kids on her own, and now as a fitness instructor for Camp Gladiator. Following her death, her husband Brandon was overwhelmed by the show of love from the Gladiator community. Countless people expressed their admiration for Missy and their shock and sadness at her death. Family, friends, and her church and fitness circle are trying to figure out how such a vicious crime could befall one of the nicest people they've ever known. On April 18, 2016, at 4 a.m., Missy Beavers left her house and arrived at Midlothian's Creekside Church of Christ just after 4 a.m. for an early morning fitness session that was supposed to start at 5 a.m. It was raining heavily but she'd stated on Facebook that if it's raining, we're still training, so the class went ahead. An unknown individual in unofficial police riot gear had already entered the church before Missy arrived. The individual is seen on CCTV cameras inside the church at 3.50 a.m. This unidentified person was recorded on security video wandering the church's dim corridors and breaking windows, presumably looking for something or someone. Missy Beaver's body was discovered by one of her pupils at 5 a.m. The police were called as soon as possible, and the student stated that Missy was unconscious and had puncture wounds to her chest and head. Police and EMS vehicles arrived on the scene, where they pronounced Missy dead. The many puncture wounds to her chest and head caused Ms. Beaver's death, according to police reports. Missy's official autopsy report was never released by authorities, however police did say that her injuries were consistent with a hammer or an object that resembles a mallet held by the suspect as they walked through the church. The new security camera footage has been released, showing an unknown person walking down the corridor after her murder. The suspect is between 5 feet 2 inches and 5 feet 8 inches tall and walks with a limp as his or her legs point outward while walking. In the days following Missy's death, her father-in-law, Randy Beavers, delivered a blood-soaked shirt to a dry cleaner in Midlothian. He told the shopkeeper that the blood came from his household dog who had passed away as a result of another dog mauling them. The blood on this garment was later collected and examined by police, which was found to be non-human blood. The case was reopened after a rumor spread among fans, who wondered if the family had any involvement. However, Randy Beavers and his wife Vicky, as well as Brandon Missy's husband, all had airtight alibis and were excluded by officials. There's a $50,000 reward for anyone who comes forward with information that leads to the arrest and grand jury indictment of the individual who murdered Missy Beavers.